thought we'd do something a little bit different. I'm Officer Kaho Okele from our Community Relations Section. I'm Lieutenant Audra Sellers with the Community Relations Section. And we're here going to answer questions that we've been receiving at our dispatch call center, as well as emails that we get online. If you have any question, please feel free to write it and we'll try to answer it as best as we can. So we'll start with the questions that we've been getting, uh, Lieutenant Sellers. So some of the questions that we're getting are, um, first one is, is there a curfew in Maui? No, there's not currently a curfew in Maui. There is a stay at home order. So if you don't need to go out, stay at home. Lieutenant Sellers, if I go to the store, can I take my spouse with me? Well. You can take your spouse. However, we are recommending, and they do recommend, that one person be the person that goes out into the public so as to minimize the face-to-face -face contact with people out there. Again, there is no violation if you go to the store, which is an essential thing, the store to get food. But again, um, we encourage that you minimize on the face-to-face -face contact and the exposure to your families. A lot of stores are also offering buy online and pick up at the store, and they'll actually bring it to your car. So that's another good resource. Good question. Now, what if I want to go for a drive to get out of my house with my family because we're all getting tired of staying booked up in our house and it's been one week? Can I go for a cruise and check everything out? No, because that is not considered essential travel. So if you're going to be on the roadways, it's for essential business or essential activities. And just going on a cruise in the neighborhood or just in, the, in your car or just going for a drive is not considered essential. So again, we please are asking you that you stay home. Help us flatten that curve. Thank you. That answers that question. And um, are there any road issues going on for people that do drive? I hear they're speeding a lot. There is a lot of speeding. And so what we're asking is that even though the roads look like they're clear and, and you may be tempted, our uh, law enforcement officers are out there enforcing the laws on speeding and things like that. So please make sure that you travel safely if you're out there for a legitimate reason. And for, like I said, e essential business or essential activities. Thank you. Well, we got a question here, Wendy. How many citations have been issued for violation of stay at home orders? Do you have a number for us? The last I looked, and that was yesterday, um, we were at 40. And I know that number increased. I could uh, get you the numbers later today. If uh, you give me your email address, I'll be more than happy to send that information to you. So go ahead and type that in, and, and I'll send you the most current, up-to-date information that we have. Again, we're asking for compliance. You know, hopefully people will stay home. All right, Tehani, do we need an essential travel form for essential workers when driving to and from work? Now that's a great question and that's one of our frequently asked questions, Lieutenant Sellers. I, I like that question. So there is no essential form, there is no essential placard that is required. Again, um, if you do have one, that some businesses are providing them and that's great. So if your business is providing them, we ask that you display them on your dashboard. Um, it will help minimize face-to-face -face contact it doesn't preclude you from having your driver's license, registration, and insurance, um, but it will help us identify you as essential. Um, we ask that you also send a copy of your permit if you are an essential person, if you're going to utilize a permit, um, that your company sends a copy to our police department. So if you could send that to our email address or even upload it to Facebook, let us know and we'll, we'll put it in. Thank you. Well, we have another one on essential questions, Lieutenant Sellers. Wow. Valerie wants to know if essential workers are allowed to show their letter to the officers through the window without rolling the window down. So to protect themselves, I guess. That's a great question. And yes, uh, we, we are practicing social distancing. As you can see, I'm standing back from Officer Margie. Um, we ask that you roll the window down a little bit so that we can, can hear you. We don't want to have to yell. If we're yelling, we may actually spit, so that's not good, or you may have to spit. So, um, yes, anything we can do to minimize face-to-face -face contact. You can hold the letter up, but that doesn't preclude you from talking. Please continue to talk to the officers. We're all in, all here to help each other. So if you could just uh, hold that letter up, just say what your business is and where you're going, and, and hopefully you'll be on your way. So great question. All right, Wendy's got another one. Hi, Wendy. This is a good one. I hope I got an answer. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who can the public contact to report suspected quarantine violations? So again, because this is, um, it's a suspected uh, violation, at the time that you see the violation, uh, we encourage you to call the non-emergency number, that is area code 808-244-6400. And when prompted and you hear the, the audio come on, just dial zero, that will push you to the non-emergency operator. At that point, let them know that you have a, a, a violation of the curfew, or I'm um, sorry, not curfew, I stand corrected, <laughs> violation of the stay at home order, and that you'd like to make a report. So we'd like you to do that when, when you actually see the violation, not a long time afterwards, so that, that we can send officers over there and, and potentially educate. Again, we wanna educate people during this hard time. You know, we're not out there to, to bust people, but we wanna educate them and hopefully they understand that through education, warning and reprimands. And you know, sometimes people don't get it and they have to be cited, unfortunately. All right, good question though. Thank you, Wendy. Good question. Now let's go to the hot topic. The hot topic is, as you know, we live on an island and we are surrounded by a wonderful Pacific Ocean. So we got a lot of beach questions out there. So let's, let's head on over to the beach. You ready? <laughs> Fire away at the beach. So, so the I first know. question is, can I even go to the beach? When you ask if you could go to the beach, beaches are not closed. Beach parks are closed. Beaches are not closed. That being said, you cannot sit, lay, sunbathe, do anything sedentary at, at the beach. Not even relax, not watch the sunset. So what we're saying is the essential activity is exercise. And we understand that, that people are being cooped up in their house. And, and But we're still trying to flatten this curve. This is a serious pandemic. And so what we're asking and, and what, what the proclamation is, the stay at home proclamation is you can, yes, travel to go exercise at the beach, in the water, or walking on the beach, or running on the beach, or jogging on the beach, but there's no sedentary things. You can't read, sit, lounge, lay, relax. You can't even um, just stay there. So what if you go in the water and you swim, if you go in the water and surf or whatever you do, at the in the water once you come out grab your stuff and go home again this is all to flatten the curve um and and keep people safe i have a question because i love the beach um and i paddle one man i have my own one man so i can paddle on my one man and there's a lot of social distancing there and i like to surf can i sit on the beach to dry myself off no again that becomes a sedentary thing so again you're going there for the exercise get in Go into the water, have your fun, get your exercise. Definitely, we encourage that. But then go, please pack up. Because while you're packing up, you're gonna dry off. Wrap the towel around you, walk to the car, start loading your gear, because that in and of itself is gonna um, dry you off. But remember, social distancing. You need to socially distance from other people, okay? And, and we're people, we like to be around others. And when one person sits, another person will sit, and then another person will sit. So again, social distancing, adhere to those rules of six feet or more. Um, do your exercise and then please go home. Please go home. All right, we have another essential question. Sure. All right, Tehani wants to know, so she, if she is a self-employed worker and considered essential, what kind of proof would help if she's pulled over while driving? Does she have to create her own essential travel note? No, there is no, like I said, there is no essential travel note. Um, so you could also go to the MauiCounty.gov or you could go to our website and there was a supplemental page and a lot of the information is on online. We also posted it and it might be too small for some people to see. But the County, uh, County of Maui Supplemental Guidance to Public Health and Emergency Rules, if you fall under this, I highly encourage you to, to know this, educate yourself and keep abreast as to the changes because changes are happening so rapidly with this. And and, and daily, um, I would check MauiCounty.gov, please check the CDC, please check our website, reputable sources. Find out if you do fall under one of these um, exempt, or I shouldn't say exempt, but one of these health emergency uh, authorized activities or business. And if you do, um, say what, what you do and, and let people know that that's what you fall under um closed beaches and parks and i actually made a comprehensive list broke it down by district beautiful 
Um, so I'll look for that while you answer some more questions. Um, Chris wants to know, but also he says thank you. Hi, Chris. He wants to know if you can run and jog through a closed county park. So the parks are closed. And what I can tell you is the, the information that came down and that is written on the proclamation of the stay at home, all parks are closed, county parks are closed. So we ask that you jog and run somewhere else. Um, there's other places that you can jog and run. So we just ask that you please comply with that and, and just avoid the, the parks. Okay. Just be safe and be cognizant that there's cars in the roadway. Did you cover running with somebody? I don't know if I did cover running with somebody, and that is a, an important question. Somebody had once asked, you know, you're supposed to do solitary um, activities, and that's what it actually says. Um, that being said, if, if you're jogging or walking with somebody in your household, just just adhere to the, the six feet rule. Again, we encourage people to do it with people that live in their same household because you guys are already together. We're not encouraging it for you to do it with people that don't live within your residence. So again, we want you to stay safe. The biggest thing is flattening this curve. The more exposure that you expose yourself to, because although I may know where my friend has been or where I've been, maybe I may give something to them or they may give something to me and then I take it back to somebody. So I may not show signs and symptoms, but I may be carrying it and give it to somebody. So that being said, the only way you can control that is to minimize face-to-face -face contact. So if I go fishing, Little Red wants to know, are we allowed to fish as long as we are six feet away from each other? So fishing is allowed because it is a source of how some people feed their family. And so yes, please adhere to the social distancing. Again, it's not for you to go kick it at the beach and hang out, right? It's there for you and it was intended for you to, to sustain your family and to feed your, your family or your friend or your neighbors or whatever, whoever you're feeding fish to. So that being said, it's not meant for you to have a social gathering at no. the beach. And unfortunately, when, when people go fish, then it's like, okay, let's throw a pole in. But now my friends are going to come hang out with me. Now we're going to put lawn chairs there. And now we're going to drink and um, hang out and listen to music and now barbecue on the beach. That's what we don't want. Okay. It's, Again, fishing is meant for you to be able to feed your family. It's another alternate source. Again, it's everybody in our community that we're asking to help flatten the curve. This is all about us flattening that curve so that we don't have any casualties. We don't want to lose anybody. And it's to feed your family and it's not supposed to be a social gathering. And again, we're asking that you guys comply with this because it's not because we wanna keep you home. It's not because you know we wanna have nobody on the beach. We want to make sure that, that people aren't getting sick. We don't want our community, our islands, our families to get overrun and, and, and end up having a death toll. Um, all of the frequently asked questions will actually be posted a little bit later. We'll recap everything for you in a form. Amy wants to know, what are we doing to make sure that people are being quarantined for 14 days from arrival? So in other words, if they, there's two, there's a local and there's uh, everybody else. So there's forms and things that are filled out when people travel and just like our agricultural form. So I don't know if you've been to the airport lately, but there's ways in which um, they're being tallied when people come in on the planes. So then it's followed up by the Department of Health and other agencies. So it's a partnership that everybody's working together to make sure that people are complying. We've seen the visitor industry, a lot of people have stopped and I'm not going to say that it's completely stopped because it hasn't. Planes are still flying. Um, that being said, we're doing the best to minimize uh, this spread and we're all trying to do this together. All right. Thank you. So same question, pretty similar. Kathy wants to know compliance of quarantine by people who have been traveling. How are they handling this? How are they handling it? It's the same thing. Um, they're coming in, information is being relayed. It's just like the quarantine form. You guys can see those uh, forms um, online at Maui. I believe it's already posted to MauiCounty.gov. Um, I'll have to take a, a check, but I last thought that it was on there. But if you do travel, it, it, you'll be filling out a form like that. It'll say where you're staying, um, how long you've been gone, where you went, and things like that. 
Oh, actually, did I print it? I thought I had printed it. Yeah, I saw that. It's a state form, just like the agriculture form. I encourage you guys to stay educated. Again, go to reputable sites. Go to MauiCounty.gov, CDC. Go to the Maui, um, our Maui Facebook, obviously, you're on here. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, there's other sites, uh, government sites, that you could check as well. Wendy wants to know, what's the biggest issue you're dealing with right now as a department? Compliance, education, lack of PPEs. Officer yeah. Margie works in, in dispatch as well, and we're all wearing a lot of hats, and we're all doing things. Everybody um, is, is working uh, different jobs and, and pitching in, and that's the beauty of, of living on an island in a community with everybody that comes together in the private sector, the public sector, um, in the community. Um, that being said, yes, PPE gear is something that we're always uh, needing. And, you know, it's wonderful that people have come at um, Ocean Vodka, Pau, what is it called? Pau Vodka and Maui Brewing. Haile Imaili. Haile Imaili. Yeah, Imaili. Maui Still Brewing Company, have all, Island Babe. Uh, pitched in and Island Babe and Island Babe have all come together to help produce hand sanitizers. Um, they're working with other agencies. I mean, I can't even name them all. There are so many. We have so many people that have um, made us um, masks, cloth masks, because any any barrier is, is good. We gave a, a bunch to our Kapuna during our Kapuna drive, as well as thank you to all the people that donated to that. Toilet paper, cleaning products, everything. We're able to help our, our most vulnerable. And we have slowed down, so we are still running the Kapuna drive. We're still running the Kapuna drive. We have our toilet paper back there. That's all we've collected so far. Today. And um, so... Um, you know, um, obviously, we everybody is trying running help. short of, of PPE, toilet paper, stuff like that. And, and we're trying to get it to the people that need it. Um, everybody's working hard. And all I can say is that the community is hopefully coming together. And, and we're just asking for compliance. And I think that that's hard, too, because the longer we stay in, in lockdown, it seems the more antsy that people get. And, and we want people to know, you know, Maui Police Department is here for you guys. We're, you know, we're we're still responding to calls. Maui Fire is still responding to calls. AMR is still responding to calls. Our dispatch is busy taking the calls and sending people. Um, it may take a little longer for some things, um, and yeah. we're just thankful for the for for people and their patience. Again, hey, beaches, beaches. you know, beaches are the biggest complaints. thing. A, Sunset. a lot of people complaining about people non-compliant at the yeah. beaches people that just don't want to stay home. And I think that that's the biggest thing. It's with the community's help that will flatten the curve. And without their compliance, again, we don't want to have to cite people. We want people to understand just how serious this, this COVID-19 is. And um, I guess that's the biggest message to give out is that we're trying to keep everybody safe. Yeah, and they gotta do their part. Everybody has to do, to do their part. Yeah, everybody's gotta do their part. And speaking of beaches, there's, um there's all of those condos and little houses and beachfronts where the beach is in the front. And I had an email today and they wanted to thank actually the officer in Kihei. They said we're really professional. They were standing in front nice. of their, yeah, they were standing in front of their condo on top of the sand and the officer approached them and told them, you know, educated them as far as being on the beach. And they were in the, under the impression from the place that they were staying at that it was allowed because it was fronting their hotel and yeah. yeah, when the officer educated them and told them, no, sorry, you need to be on the lawn of that property if they permit it. So if there's people out there that have that idea that I live on the beachfront so I can go out on the sand in front of my house, the answer is no. You, you can't, can't just hang out on the sand. No, you Again, can if swim. You, yeah, you can swim, you could actively exercise. Snorkel. No sedentary. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that is the big thing, like you're saying, is that there's misinformation that yeah. gets out there, unfortunately. And I think as a general whole, people do like to comply or want to comply. And that's why we get so many people asking questions. So, again, we're so happy that you give us the questions. Some of them we may have to laugh because sometimes they sound silly. But we are so glad because this opens up the dialogue. And we would rather be able to talk about it and say what is acceptable, what's not, what you can get fined for and what you cannot. Um, Again, it's all to flatten the curve. It's all to be safe, and and that's our biggest thing. Karen Marie said that uh, she saw the mayor said in an address the other day on TV that it is okay to traverse the closed beach parks to get to the beach. 
just confirming that is true walking through just to get to the beach to exercise or swim okay so i haven't seen anything in in, in writing and i haven't seen anything in and and we we have we enforce laws that are, or or orders that are written um so i haven't seen anything that has come down so i i can't um comment on that but the last order that i have that was dated the 22nd or what 22nd. The, supplement, the supplement that came out and it said effective date March 22nd, stated that all beach parks are closed. So until we receive something else different, then then that would be what the message is for us. We actually got a phone call question. A phone call question, <laughs> excellent. All right, what are the guidelines for taxi drivers? You know what, you know? It's, I actually don't know that. And that is a very good question. And you know what, I apologize that I don't know that. I, I was trying to educate myself and I try to keep abreast of these things. But I don't even see taxi in here. But I know that Uber and transportation. If so, the thing is, is if the transportation is for an essential duty. Oh, here it is. Another Uber nine. Another Uber lift. That is a good question. You actually stopped us. Uh -huh. oh. Uber. Nope, it's oh, not on here. You. Let me see. I'm trying to see transportation takeout. Takeout tax. There is nothing on taxi. So I will have to get back to maybe you. Maybe somebody that. maybe somebody else has some information for me on that. Yeah. Maybe good good somebody question. from the mayor's office can maybe somebody from the mayor's office if can you're watching. more clarif uh, clarification on that. And um, if not, you know what? I am going to follow Find up and get that information for you guys and we'll we'll put something out on Facebook. Uh, we'll make a post and we'll just put it under uh, the questions that came up regarding taxis and Uber. But again, it would need to be for essential travel. If, if it's falling under this, it would have to be for something that is essential business or essential travel. Uh, Any mm, other questions? Yep, Max Molly, I called to report a suspected quarantine violation of a newly arrived passenger and was told MPD is not provided with a list of people on 14 day quarantine. So you have no idea. Is Department of Health sharing the list with you now? That's something that I cannot comment on. Um, Department of Health is working with us. Um, other than that, I can't tell you any other information about Department of Health, but Department of Health um, grabs those forms from the airport when those people come in and the information is gathered. I can tell you that. So she wants to know who to report suspected quarantine violations to, MPD or Department of Health? I would suggest doing it to both at this point. We appreciate everybody's support. Like I said, I think everybody, um, the vast majority of people in the community want to comply and and have been great thank you so much um there is a you know a handful of the community that doesn't want to comply um but that being said thank you so much for your your guys's support and it, it means a lot so heidi, Hi, heidi. Uh, she she missed a part about the beaches but yes you can run on the beach yes you can run yeah. on the beach you definitely can run on the beach as long as you're not sedentary no watching the sunset no meditating no reading a book no sleeping no camping. Um, no camping. <laughs> uh, no COVID-19. Okay, we got that one. Thank you We're for informing us. We're trying to answer us. them all. Yeah. We're trying to answer all the questions, and she's going through, uh, Officer Margie's going through the questions. Yeah. I'm still um, stuck on the taxi one. <laughs> <laughs> Maui Power Washing. I'm out every night sanitizing shopping carts. You are awesome. Can I continue doing this? You're sanitizing, so you're part of sanitation and health. So um by the um business activities it says that you are 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 cleared for that so yeah it does say that sanitation and um cleaning company security here we go tony tony wants to know he said i work security at a resort mm -hmm. what's the best way to approach guests if they are leaving the resort and breaking the 14 day quarantine compliance i'm guessing you know for sure that they came in so approach them, of course, yeah, using precautions, using the precautions and, and inform them and educate them on the rules and the publication emergency rules. You know, what we find is helpful is that you have them printed out. This is the, you know, the, from the mayor's office, the proclamations and handing that to them. Sometimes it's about just the education on that. Um, and that's, you know, what I would do and then report it accordingly. Uh, to Eugene, DOH as well as to MPD. Eugene wants to know if we're making sure that people get 
that arrived here go straight to their quarantine and not stopping by Costco or other stores. I can't tell you um, how people are moved um, from once they're at the airport. I'm sorry, that's a question I can't answer at this time. Not because I don't want to, I just don't know the answer. So, I see it running. Yes, the Maui bus is still running and again it's for essential travel only. Essential travel only for essential activities. Uh, there's a response to Crystal. The mayor did confirm at his press conference and various media outlets as well that you may walk through the beach parks to access the beach. So that's something that we will definitely research um, today. Who was that? Give it up. Well, that's something that we will not, follow yeah. up with. Again, uh, we haven't it received anything in paper on writing. So uh, uh, again, it, it would be something. Um, the proclamation is in place. The supplementals are in place and things are in place. So um, until something in writing comes down, again, we enforce what is written. Max wants to know if there is any one thing you would like the public to know we can do to make MPD, uh, for MPD to make our job easier. Well, just wow. know, Let's thank see. you so much. That was, I mean, I, I'd have to I love that this. question. I love that question. <laughs> thank you very much. Again, I just, I, I hope that you guys have patience and that you guys spread kindness and turn on your humanity turn on the humanity at this time and and just you know try and think from other people's point of views and please um, you know think about it if, if it's really essential you know I guess that's the biggest thing that I can ask you if it's really essential um, Think about your neighbor, you know, somebody that's elderly and, and needs help, you know, obviously you don't want to expose them, but um, go to the store for them. Maybe, maybe while you're doing your run, go help them. Um, what else makes our job easier? Everybody complying with the rules, yeah. people slowing down traveling um, on the roadways, uh, so still dumb. adhering to the laws of the, the road. And, you know, I guess the one thing, again, like I said, just be um, patient and have humanity. I guess that's two things. Yeah. Sorry. That's have, have a little bit more patience and understand that aside from the officers just responding to their everyday calls of domestic violence, um, thefts, burglaries, and all of that, just have a little patience and understand that on top of that, they're also dealing with all the phone calls and trying to get people off the beaches and educating people. And um, they have to do all of that on top. And, and they're being exposed every day. We're being exposed every day. First responders, uh, AMR, uh, National Park Service, sheriffs um we're out here for you we're out here and we will respond and we will help you um yeah. and and thank you please help us and keep in mind yeah. and keep in mind if you commit a crime you're gonna have to do the time and they've upped it if you commit a crime during this time of emergency you're looking at punishment that is um More twice the amount yeah you're looking at a misdemeanor that can be a felony a and a felony is punishable by like 20 years so it's important to remember that Respect everybody. Don't do don't do anything out there that you just shouldn't be doing. Yeah. Basically, um, are we gonna start wearing? Huh? Are we gonna wear masks? So we're issued masks. We have masks, and we use the proper precautions per the CDC and per the the recommended guidelines. So we have masks. Um, as you know, they're in short supply. Yeah. You so know? this is my everyday. And so <laughs> we have. Um, masks and stuff like that but again you know um we're out here so all right thank you. and thank you to those that have been sewing them for us um some people have been sewing masks and and oh, it's yes. been awesome uh Denise thank you. Ah if i forget your name patricia from so special thank you um i know there's more people and i would be telling you your names but i can't even remember all of them i'm so sorry if i didn't send a shout out to you but um man it's it's overwhelming it's it's heartwarming to know that uh so many people um help and support so thank you and um okay so they said somebody did record the press conference with the mayor so again i know i know it's a press conference and i know it's something that came down and, and it's something that he said We're and usually a press conference um is followed by um a, a release in the paper or like um, a proclamation or something like that. So again, that's what we'll, we'll be looking for. And, and I will follow up with the mayor's office on that. You know, beaches and going and beach parks and egress and walking through and not walking through. Again, there's, there's people that want to um, 
make things essential that aren't essential. So my question is really, do you need, like for instance, at Lani Apoco Beach Park, if you want to surf that that break, do you need to walk through Lani Apoco Beach Park? No. You don't. You could go south or you could go north and you can walk and get to the beachfront. So that being said, this is what I ask too, is that if you don't need to do it, if it's really not that essential, then why do it? If, if, if it's just easier just to walk around, could you do that? Um, Kalani Pea wants to make sure that he can swim at the beach and Kalani, yes, you may swim at the beach by yourself for sure. The beaches are closed, but not the swimming part, not the ocean. So the beaches, when she says beach is closed, again, it's for sedentary things. You can walk, you yeah. can run, you can jog, you can exercise on the beach. You can't sit, you can't be sedentary, you can't um, read a book, you can't lay out, you can't dry yourself off, you can't just hang out there. Yeah. Um, but then again, I gotta clarify. Yeah. Beaches, beaches aren't closed. County beaches and county and state beaches are closed. Other beaches are not closed closed if that makes sense um the beaches that are non-designated as a county and that confuses everybody because yeah. they don't know what a which beach can, check out maui county park so again the water is is not closed and that's all i can say can you swim in freshwater ponds freshwater ponds like where like you can't go to yeah depends closed, on, yeah the depends. park if it's so a freshwater, yeah, if it's a freshwater pond. So I'm not pond sure which freshwater pond you're asking about. And it all depends if it's on state. You can hike because hiking is allowed. But some are closed, so you got to check go the state, state sites. Yeah. So you got to go look at the um, National Park Service site. Excuse me. And again, that would be um, where you could get the information as to what is closed and what is open. So if you say, oh, I want to go hike in a state park or I want to go hike in a state location. Then go on the state site and take a look. If you want to go on a county site, go look on the county site. I know it gets confusing that way because we have so many different types of land here. All right. We'll try to put something together. I know that Officer Margie was working on a list of beaches and parks and things like that. Um, you know, like we said, this thing changes every day. No. What's that? Can we sit at the beach to rest in between of runs? No. I'd say no, because again, it's sedentary. And how would I know how long you've been sitting there? So again, the thing is, is that it has to be active. It has to be an active act. All right. Is that it? Uh, yep. Anyway, if you got any questions, obviously you know how to find us on our Facebook. Uh, we hope that this worked out. This is our first, <laughs> uh, well, I shouldn't say this is our first time doing frequently yeah. asked questions on live. We wanted to, to send a shout out and come here and, and answer some of the frequently asked questions. Um, again, go to reputable sites, guys. My police department is here for you. We ask that you are here for us and stay home, be safe, be well, and be healthy. Aloha. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, by the way, we are hiring. Just letting oh, yeah. you know. <laughs> Just letting you know. Got to throw it out there. The police department is hiring, and we are actively recruiting. So well, not only positions for police officers, but dispatch. Our dispatchers. Man, that's a hard job. <laughs> we have evidence, cust evidence custodians. That's like a tongue twister. Evidence, evidence custodian. <laughs> and we've got other things. You public know, there's, service. There's a, a yeah. We have PSAs in Lahaina, public uh, safety aides. You know, there's jobs that um, in our department. Um, there's a lot of cogs in our wheel, and so there's a lot of things that make our department run, not just our sworn. And <laughs> um, so our records division our uh, receiving desk, our dispatch, our clerks, you know, we have, what else is there? Our evidence people, our radio shop, our motor pool. So we're like a family and we have so many different facets. So if you're interested, go to the county website and we're always hiring. So head over to our, somebody asked Little Red, what's the link to apply? Go to mauicounty.gov go to job opportunities or else you can just go to job uh, at <laughs> join <laughs> at join Maui PD. So if you just tap off of his, I just posted actually a bunch of links to recruit today in fact. So check it out. 
And Kelly, Kelly wants to know how to protect yourself as a homeowner. If someone is trying to steal from you, if lethal force is used. Kelly, why don't you give us a call offline and I'll give you, th this isn't an easy question to answer. Yeah. It's, it's a very long question. So it'll be longer than we're able to stay online, but give us a call, uh, 244-6380. And we'll be more than happy to, to talk to you and even give you some tips on, on home safety. That's what I was going to say too. Because we have a lot of information yeah. on that. So definitely by all means, we want people to stay safe and we want people to be safe and feel safe. So please give us a call 244-6380 and, and we'll talk. All right. Aloha. Aloha.